kasi kinukuha nila kaagad. Next up, and the final part of the Youth Camp Series is the competition of four teams from various types of activities. The four teams, namely Joseph, Judah, Naphtali, and Benjamin, definitely gave their all. And though it's a competition where the winner always matters, <laughs> this time, the lessons that are to be unfolded matters more. Pag umagbang tayo, dapat isipin muna natin yung kalalabasan. Tapos, bago ka pumunta sa pangalong step, kailangan magawa mo muna ng tama yung una. How was the experience? What were the lessons gained? What were the stories that have been testified? Um, yung na-change po sa akin doon is mas lalo ko pong naintindihan kung paano po yung patience. And how do these lessons and stories reflect our day-to-day -day lives? Kailangan sa bakla po natin, dapat mag-focus lang tayo. Ano ba yung mga kabayong? Di ba yung kabayong may sanit yung mata dito? Para hindi sila tumingin sa mga ano. Stay tuned because these games are not just mere games. Games that are equipped with lessons to acquire. As first time campers, how was your experience here? Ayos lang, gusto kong maging hot dog sa ref. Ako din solid, hot dog din. Oh, sige na. The first game is called the Handkerchief Thief Game. The mechanics of the game is simple. You're just going to steal the handkerchief from the game master going back to your base. But here's the catch. You have an opponent. Once your corresponding number is called, another person from the other side will come forward to try and steal the flag from the game master as well. And no matter what happens, you must carefully and strategically steal the handkerchief while at the same time avoiding getting touched by the opposing member. Because if you are touched, your team have already lost the match. <laughs> the game was really enjoyable as a warm-up activity. Very notable from my experience. Ano pa kaya naman mo na sa kanina ngalo? Masaya at ano? Masaya lah. Masaya lah. No problem. Ano masaya kahit hindi ikaw yung naglalaro yun. Kapag sure yun lah. Ano kahit natalo kami nagingjoy naman kami kaya okay lang. Nagingjoy naman yung mga ka sama namin kaya okay lang. Ano, sobrang enjoy at nakakatuwa na panalo yung team namin and ano, dagdag din points yon para ano, <laughs> naniniwala ako na ano, kasama namin si God doon sa uh, moment na yun. Yan na. Along the moments of days, annoying game masters had tested all teams to cooperate as one big team in guarding the candles that were lit. It was kind of irritating to protect them with me getting wet all the time because my clothes were limited and I keep getting soaked. Moving along, we also had memory games of facts, characters, and memory verses in the Bible.
I knew a bit of detail in the Bible, so I was able to impart a few points in our team. Next was the game called Pass the Fire, and as the game title suggests, one has to pass the fire from one teammate to another without getting its flame extinguished. If the member had his or her fire extinguished, the member must go back to the team leader to get its flame back. Well, the prime objective here was to keep the flame in the candle burning, just as how the theme of the camp goes, and I think that it was somehow caught by the players. Kuya, para mo iniingatan yung ano kapoy mo. Iniingatan ko kasi ito yung ano paglarating si Lord para kasama tayo. Para hindi siya mamatay yung apoy sa apoy sa natin. Benjamin, let's go! Benjamin, let's go! Ah, uh, ano yung nararamdaman mo na natalo yung team nyo ngayon sa laro? Saya pa rin kahit na natalo kami kasi nag-enjoy kami. Tapos, magandang experience na din yun para sa amin kasi kasi yung mga ibang kasama din namin, mga first-timer din. Masaya dahil, siyempre, malalo na naman kami halos araw-araw na lang. Bukas, panalo uli kami niyan. <laughs> if we had games in the daytime, we also had games in the nighttime. In fact, it was dawn when we did it. The mud pool. We had to dip ourselves in the mud just to find pieces of papers wrapped in tape containing words that would complete an entire scripture in the Bible. And as for me, I was honestly very dedicated to winning the activity along with my teammates, but I guess I made the other way around. Though I knew to myself that I was the most obedient boy out there, I guess I was too focused in the game that I wasn't been able to listen to the instructions of the facilitators. Well, it didn't matter if the directions were clear or not, but what mattered more was I kind of let them down. In short, we got disqualified and I was saddened by it. I just don't seem to understand when sometimes bad things strike when you think you were prepared for this. I guess there are just things that don't go in your way. Well, moving along, one final game that we had played was the obstacle course. And of course, selected players were the only ones who participated. And though I may have led my teammates down from last time, I was still picked to play with me having that competitive nature in me. Anyways, the mechanics of the game was pretty straightforward. You're going to proceed for every station up until all of you and your teammates would reach the last one all together. Before we got here, we had to crawl under a long table and jump over straw ropes. Then, we had to carry the ball with just bare sticks until we reached the next station to crawl. Then, running to a particular tree with written scriptures on the leaves to be blocked off and returning back just to crawl again. After that, we had to fill in a small plastic cup where it took us a bit of time because the cups had tiny holes to make it a bit harder. We were actually winning by the time we got up first against the opposing team, but they passed through us first for some reason. Anyways, 
It was a very fun time, and a bit of a tiring one, with a soreness from shoulders being felt. Those were indeed the games that we had. By the way, we still had some other games, but I had insufficient clips about them. Still, they were really fun. I cannot deny the fact that I had greatly enjoyed my time playing, feeling the experience with other campers who gave their effort and participation made even more remarkable. It was indeed good, but more than to this, I like it more to hear the experiences and testimonies of other people. Over the course of the, this camp, what changed you as a person? yung na change ko sa akin doon is mas lalo ko pong naintindihan kung kung paano po yung patience kasi for me po share ko lang po is broken family po kami then minsan nadidrain ako nadadown, nadadown ako because inisip ko yung biggest dream ko is yung ma mabuhulit yung family namin in inisip ko kailan kay bibigyan ni Lord yun yung mali ko doon is parang nilim nilimitahan ko si God na parang hindi ko inisip yung word niya na may Merong perfect time and perfect will si God para ibigay niya yung kailangan natin. The campers definitely learned a lot too. Nagli-leader na talaga ako noon pa sa dance. Pero iba yung kwan, iba. Kahit sobrang ang dami ng achievement na nagawa mo sa buhay mo. Kwan, hindi pala yun yung talagang totoong achievement na, na kwan yung makamundo. Ang totoong achievements ngayon, yung nakilala mo si Lord. Not just about the games, but for the entire experience of the youth camp too. Paindap-indap na yung fire sa puso ko. So, na ano ako na parang bakit may ano may session pa ba hindi na lang games na agad kasi ano naman youth camp naman camping naman yun yung ano unang na ano ko hanggang sa unti-unti na parang mas mas kailangan ko pala yung word of god kaysa sa yung mga games it's more fun and really really have uh, new friends in this camp. Huwag tayong padalos-dalos. Kailangan pag umagbang tayo, dapat isipin muna natin yung kalalabasan. Tapos, bago ka pumunta sa pangalawang step, kailangan magawa mo muna ng tama yung una. Uh, dapat po huwag tayong sumuko sa anumang pagsubo. Halimbawa yung mga games na ginagawa natin, na tumatakbo tayo, na may ginagawa. Kailangan sa pagtakbo natin, dapat mag-focus lang tayo. Ta, ang tignan natin si Lord, halimbawa yung mga kabayo. Di ba yung kabayo may kasalid yung mata dito para hindi sila tumingin sa mga ano. Kasi kapag tumingin ka sa tumingin ka dito sa, sa kaliwa, kaliwa kanan, wala naman yung stress yung kanan. Mawawala na yung, ano, yung focus mo kay Lord. Though games are usually perceived to be related to technology these days, it's still fun to play and interact with real people on a real setting. I would be hypocrite if I were to totally agree on this, but regulating our playtime of getting sweaty under the sun too would make up for exercise and overall mental state. It's always fun to play after all. And while we are young, Let's enjoy our lives to the fullest, getting involved in as much experiences as we could possibly get. We hope yung mga camper ngayon, in the near future, sa mga susunod na camp, eh, sila din yung magiging facilitator, or hindi lang facilitator, even maging speaker, uh, generation by generation. Uh, andun yung desires natin na magamit sa gawain ng Lord. Because life is too short. Too short that one day you might regret the days in the past and you're just gonna say that your life was never exciting because you never got to play and enjoy at all. Indeed, let's enjoy our youthfulness and play as much as we can. This has been Jay wondering how odd, isn't it? <laughs>